All right, now we're going to look at doing some basic math with Notion. So in here, I've added two columns to our, our three companies we're pitching here, value and quantity. So we're selling some systems to these companies. Acme wants our good system. They want our $1,000 system, and they think they want 10 of them. Nike wants our great system. That's our $5,000 system. And they want 100 of them, perhaps. Coca-Cola doesn't need much. They just need the $250 system, but they need a bunch of them to go to all their distributors. So they need, say, 1,000 of those. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, first, this looks a little weird because value is not shorting right, showing it correctly. So because this is a number, if we hover over the cell, we'll see this one, two, three. If we click that, we can say, how do we want it to look? And so in this case, we'll say dollars. So we'll say dollars. So that looks a little bit better. And we can even go over this one and have number with commas. So it'll show the number. And again, it'll show that all the way down for everyone in that list. So I can't go and specify per row. It's going to be every row is going to have that. That certainly looks better. But how much is this really worth? You know, if Acme has a thousand dollar thing, they buy 10 of them. Let's get the total here. So let's do some math to get the total. So total value, we're going to make that a formula. And so again, if we click in here, we can say value and it plugs that in for us. And then the asterisk means multiply by quantity. And that's it. We put done and it puts the total value in there. Again, it's the wrong format. It should be dollars here for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and tell it it's dollars. And so we have our dollars. That's a way to do some quick math. So any formula you want to edit like that, again, you can pull your things here, and it's just plus minus. Uh, if you need to divide, it's just a slash, a forward slash. Um, and again, multiplies asterisk. So we can say that, you know, minus 100 if you want for some reason. You know, I'm not sure why you would do that, but maybe you have a fee that comes off or something else. You can you can run your math statement as far as you need to go. Uh, that's a quick look at how you can do some math uh, in databases in Notion.